Let's take a look at how the layout process plays out in a Xamarin Forms app. In Xamarin Forms, we manage UI organization using layout containers that arrange our views and adapt our UI to various screen sizes and resolutions. Layout containers organize any child views we add to them based on a built-in algorithm, providing more flexible system than coordinate-based layouts. The layout containers are smart enough to adapt the size and position of their child views to the screen. They even recalculate sizes and positions when the device is rotated between portrait and landscape mode. This type of dynamic behavior would be difficult to code manually in a coordinate-based layout system. A layout is a special type of UI view that manages a collection of child views. The layout is responsible for calculating the size and position given to each of its children. Xamarin Forms provides several layouts. Stack Layout arranges its children in a single row or column. Grid has rows and columns and places its children into cells. Absolute Layout places child elements at absolute positions, which you need to calculate. Relative Layout places child views relative to the layout or to the sibling views. Absolute Layout and Relative Layout are more specialized and less commonly used. So we'll focus on Stack Layout and Grid in this course since they're the most versatile panels. They're powerful and flexible enough to build rather complex UIs. When we start putting our child views into a layout, the rendered size on the user's screen is a collaboration between the view and the layout container. Both influence the final size and position of the views. The view knows the size it would like to be in an ideal world, but only the layout container understands the big picture. For example, the view doesn't know how much space the layout has been given, nor how many other children are competing for that same space. The layout arbitrates between these competing interests. Let's dig into the details of how they come up with that final value. The layout panel asks each child how much room it would like, but ultimately tells each child how much it will get. First, it asks all the children how big they would like to be by calling the measure method on each one, passing in the maximum size it can provide. The child view replies to the panel, sending back its preferred size while taking into account that max size. The layout panel then calls the layout method on each child, passing the size of the rectangle the child has actually been given. The child view then renders itself in that rectangle. Child views can make layout requests, but the layout panel decides whether those requests can be accommodated. This cycle repeats as needed. For example, if the device is rotated or a label size changed because its text is changed, the layout algorithm has to run again.